Hi friends, welcome to Opa Studies YouTube channel. In this video, we wanted to discuss about something called application registration, service principle and enterprise application. So we should know a basic difference between all these things. So before watching this video, I would recommend to watch my Azure basics playlist. Okay. So why? Because it is very important to have a sense of what is the meaning of tenant? What is the meaning of a subscription? and what is the meaning of a resource. So these details one should be knowing or one should be familiar with this uh, terminology then only you will understand this video. So I am not going detail to it. Please watch my Azure basics playlist. So let's understand what is the application registration and when we have to create it. So let's assume I have a web application. So I have a web application. It can be any application for that matter. Now this web application has to access something inside my tenant. So assume that I have a tenant here, uh, a Azure tenant, right? And tenant will be at a company level if you guys know that, right? And inside Azure tenant, I have some subscription. So I have some subscription. And inside subscription, I have some resource. So I have some resource. Okay, so resource means a kind of a data. It can be a data. It can be an API that will give back a data or perform certain action, right? So now imagine that my web application has to access this resource. So how, how my web application will access is how it will get permissions and all that stuff, right? So for that, what I need to, so basically if you think in a layman, maybe I will be end up with a need where I have to create an identity for my web application. So a identity for my web application has to be created in the tenant and on that identity one can give the permissions uh, to perform your actions on your resource. Okay. So now how to create that identity for my web application in Azure. So that's where you have to create something called application registration, right? So application registration as name says basically it's something like I'm registering an application inside my uh, tenant. So basically application registration means creating an identity inside the tenant. So let's assume this is your tenant. So this is your tenant uh, and you will be creating something called application registration in it. So this is your tenant. So once you create application registration, what will happen? It will create something called application object. Okay, so it will create something called an application object. So imagine like a application registration is registering a form where to create an identity. And once you do that, it creates something called an application object for your registration. It created an application object and uh, this application registration is a global level. So what is the meaning of a global level? We will come to that later. Okay, so for now we are understanding for a single tenant, right? So we will come to this. What is this global level later? So I have something called application registration. I registered an application because I want an identity. So it created an application object and then from that application object, what it will do, it will basically create something called a service principle. Automatically it will create. And this service principle is nothing but like a its identity. So this is like an identity of your web application. It's like an ID of your web application. Imagine that way. So now the use of getting identity is now for this identity, I can give the permissions where it can go and access the resources. So let's assume it has to access something, some API or maybe some data, right? So, so those permissions I can give on the identity. That means I can give on the service principle indirectly and service principle got created uh, automatically from the application object when application is registered. So what will happen when application is registered, you will get something called app ID here or a client ID. You, you can call app ID or a client ID. So the app ID or a client ID of the application registration will be same as app ID or a client ID of the service principle. Okay. So the app ID and client ID, what it will create for the application registration, it will be same inside the service principle also. So let me show you this practically. So if I go to my Azure portal, so I have navigated. So let me go back to home. I'm going inside the application registrations. 
and when I go to the all applications you see something called a demo app it's a application registration okay so when I open this when I open this uh, if, if I if I if I zoom it observe this symbol right so this is the application registration you you see a cube kind of a symbol so that is like a application registration so the id the client id what you see for this application registration will be same for the service principle of this application registration now firstly i said app registration will be having something called okay one second so let me do one thing so what i said is i said something called a app registration will be the app registration when you do it create a application object and also it will create something called a service principle right so now where is the application object you see this is the application object the object id is an application object so i registered an application applic app registration at created an object now you will ask where is the service principle so this is a service principle manage the application in local directory so that is a service principle so when i when i hover it here see see this is managed application in a local directory to make you sense i can hover it and i can show you that so 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 when i hover you can see managed application in a local directory okay so i have an application object id so i a object got created and i have an object id here and also a, a, a client id or app id also got created for my application registration but when i open this service principle when i open this service principle even the service principle will be having a same application id okay so now when i go inside the uh, service principle i have clicked it the moment i clicked it observe it the name is same and the icon is a different this time you have that globe symbol that means like it's a local web application it's like a web application symbol okay or a web symbol imagine that way and uh, it's it's named as a enterprise application right so enterprise application and service principle both are slightly different more or less same imagine that way for now so what i said service principle is a identity right i said service principle is an identity right uh, and uh, identity is like a where you will manage your permissions kind of a stuff now now for the we are doing all these things to register an application right to get an identity for an application right but not only identity when you register an application you have set of configurations also on top of it right so uh, to manage that application so enterprise application is a broader term broader term uh, where for that identity all the configurations and all that stuff were wrapped and uh, named it like a enterprise application so enterprise application is like a, a broader term where uh, identity is there also uh, configurations related to the web application also is there maybe something like a redirect url some security configurations uh, how to manage that application all that kind of a stuff so application related configurations plus identity that means service principle put together is called enterprise application okay so service principle will be inside the enterprise application imagine that way so now this is the service principle id basically okay and your enterprise application will also have a object id this object id is different than this object id is different than the object id what you have in the application registration so to re to to re to to remind you back application registration some has something called a application object and this application object will create something called a service principle and this service principle is actually inside the enterprise application and enterprise application is nothing but like a service principle plus some configurations related to the application to manage the whole application okay so this is all happening in a single tenant right so this is how the things will be there so in short if you imagine here application registration is maybe a parent okay and service principle is maybe a child because from the application registration only uh, the service principle got created automatically so we won't create them separately it will automatically get created generally okay so this is all fine so now if you are if you are if you are creating a web application if you are creating a web application that is going to access the data inside this tenant only that is going to access the data or an api inside this tenant only then it is fine so then you will register this application as a single tenant application 
so when you are registering an application you can tell whether it's a single tenant or a multi tenant so i know that my web application has to be within my tenant only and within this tenant uh, employees only will use this application then single tenant web, web registration will do so when you go to here when you try to create a app registrations right when you hit uh, new app registration right you will see certain configurations here whether you want to create this application registration as a single tenant or a multi tenant single tenant means within that tenant whoever the employees were there whatever the resources were there only within that tenant the people are going to access that web application or the resources are going to be get used within that tenant in that case you will use a single tenant but let's assume you have a web application that has to work in two tenants okay so imagine this situation so what will happen is so let's assume you have something called tenant 1 and you have something called tenant 2 so let's assume this is tenant 1 and let's assume this is something called tenant 2 okay so now i want to create a web application that has to be i want to have a web application i want to have a web app it has to be access or available in both the tenants in that case what you will be doing you will be creating a application registration as a multi tenant in any one of these tenant first so let's assume i i create a app registration app registration in the tenant 1 and when i create that i will be mentioning it as a multi tenant app first multi tenant app first okay so then as you know the moment you have a uh, application registration it will have something called a application object and from there it will have something called a enterprise application or the service principal right and the app registration client id imagine imagine client id of a app registration is imagine client id or the app id of the app registration is xyz then even for the service principal the client id will come as a xyz only so the client id will be same for the app registration uh, and also for the service principal now this is fine so in this tenant 1 it will work fine all good now how how it will work in the tenant 2 right for that what you have to do so for the same app registration we can create the service principal in the tenant 2 okay so the service principal in the tenant 2 will be created from the same app registration okay so it is possible so you you can navigate to the tenant 2 and you, you will create a service principal and when i say service principal basically you will create something called a enterprise application uh, in the tenant 2 from the tenant 1 app registration so tenant 1 for this app registration tenant 1 will become home tenant tenant 1 will become home tenant okay and uh, here in the tenant 2 the service principal got created and the client id the client id of the service principal will be same as here only so the client id if you observe if you observe right the client id here the client id here and the client id here everything is a same okay so the client id will remain same uh, uh, but you will be creating you will be creating application registration in one tenant and service principal will be there and and uh, one more service principal you will create in a tenant too and all the permissions uh, what it need in this tenant will be given here so that way when the web application is running here that time it will be able to access the data from this particular tenant or a api from this ten particular tenant as well and when it is when the application is running here in the tenant one uh, on this service principal you will give the permissions so that way it will access the data or apis here successfully right so basically when you want to perform the cross tenant then create a application registration in one tenant and it will get a service principal there and one more service principal you will create in a different tenant and uh, manage the permissions differently so tenant one service principal will have few permissions which will work within the tenant one tenant two service principal will have few permissions it will work there so so that's how the things are works so i hope now it it created a more sense what is application registration service principal and enterprise application to quickly recap so app registration is like i am registering application which has to access the resources uh, 
and when you do that it will create something called a application object and application object will create something called a service principle okay so service principle is a identity basically and the identity plus uh, some configurations to manage the application is called enterprise application so it's like a local application like local representation of an application when i say local within the tenant within the tenant uh, you have to represent your application so enterprise application will be there so inside that service principle will be there on top of the service principle only you will manage the permissions okay and once you have this whole setup in one place you can also create the, the service principle in another tenant also in another tenant also uh, tenant two also you can create it so application registration is a global so this is this reminds global and service principle this is a local to this is a local to tenant two and here this is a local to tenant one right so service principle are the uh, enterprise applications are a local entries within the tenant but application registration will registration will be only one at it will be in a home tenant it is a global level okay and client id will remain same for application registration and also the service principles wherever you create so that's it in this video thank you for watching have a nice day